Hey, what's going on guys? Sine Palms here, and I'm going to do a tutorial on some color correction render settings for After Effects. Um, this is going to be for montage clips. Um, I'll probably do another tutorial for like regular gameplay and commentaries, but for now this is for montage clips. So uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on Composition, New Composition, and then uh, 1280 by 720 um, HD obviously, and then if this is checked, just uncheck it, and then pixel aspect ratio is square pixels. Um, if you're using a PVR, uh, 59.94 is the best, but if you're using a Dazzle or Easy Cap or something that's not um, HD, um, then just put 29.97. And uh, resolution full, start time code zero, duration, uh, just put the duration a little longer than your um, clip duration. So click OK. Now uh, file import file and uh, obviously just um, find the file that you want to use I'll just use this and uh, hold on and just drag this over here oh crap make sure it actually fits alright so there we go um so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is click um, blur and sharpen and uh, just drag sharpen onto the video and sharpen amount um, just put it 5 and then um, uh, unsharp mask and then just put the amount from 55 to 60 uh, this just makes it a little brighter um, I'll just put it at 55 but you can put it from anywhere from 55 to 60 uh, you can play around with it I guess um, so now go to color correction and then drag curves onto the video and um, you can just play around with this too uh, I already have a preset um, this this preset to fail <laughs> um, so yeah, just play around with it. Uh, see which one you like the best. But in my opinion, I like this one the best. Uh, just move the line to the top, and then just move this one up a little. If you want mine, I guess this one looks pretty nice. So uh, that's it for the color correction. Now on to the render settings. So click composition, make movie, and then render settings. Click on best settings, and then you can just uh, the only thing you really have to change I guess um, I don't know about you but for me I just have to change this to 29.97 um oh sorry about that uh, I I told you before to use 59.94 for decomposition but um, that's just to work with the clip but um, in YouTube uh, they just compress it to 29.97 frames per second so if you were to render it in 59.94 there's really no point but uh, you can just pause the video right now and copy all these Alright, now click OK, and then Output Module Lossless, click on that. And then the format, just go to QuickTime Movie, and then just uncheck that, and then uh, go to Format Options. And then uh, Compression Type, it should be a... Oh, actually, Compression Type should be MPEG-4 video. And then uh, frames per second 29.97. And then just, if these are checked, just uncheck it. And uh, quality should be best, obviously. Click OK. And then um, audio output um, 48 KHC 16 bit stereo. And uh, just, you can just pause the video right now and copy this if you want. Alright, now click OK. And then output 2, just save it wherever you want. And then just name it whatever you want. I'll just name this tutorial. And uh, you are finished with that, and then just click render. I'm not going to click render just because it's just a tutorial. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and I hope it helped you. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.